Wow. So this is where normally you have all the souvenir shops. And it seems that it's completely cleared out. Good afternoon. I'm here in front of probably one of the most iconic shopping malls in Bangkok, the MBK. When I arrived in Bangkok, this was the place to go to, and especially for tourists. And of course now, in the meanwhile, Bangkok opened a lot more malls. But yeah, MBK is still, uh, yeah, what I said, probably the most famous one. The reason why I'm here is that I am looking to buy a microphone for uh, for filming because I noticed and a lot of people already mentioned it that uh, especially when I'm on the bicycle there is a lot of uh, extra noise from the wind that blows so I am looking to see if I can uh, find a, a good solution and buy a microphone and there's two options here in Bangkok where I can go to, I can go to MBK. There is a very good shop here um, that I will show you a little bit later where I also bought two of my gimbals. And I will have a look here. And if I cannot find what I want, I will go and have a look in Fortune Town, which is another, uh, another mall that is specialized on um, yeah, high-tech products mobile phones, cameras and stuff like that. Yeah, so here you have the square that they built. I think this is a couple of years old now. And this is the intersection. It's a very busy intersection, but they built this whole walking path on top of it. And here you have the National Stadium BTS station okay so let's go inside of MBK I know that many shops in MBK uh, are closed as well so I can give a nice update about that yeah here in front of the MBK you have the museum and unfortunately that's all closed off. Yeah, so what I said, there is uh, big parts of the mall that are closed now. But let's have a look. Here we have the mobile and IT section. Tokyo is still open, the Japanese mall. Yeah, here you have a lot of little shops where you can buy accessories for phones and cameras and stuff like that. But there's only a few good ones where you can get the good quality products.
So I see there's a big park that they are renovating now here. Mm, here you have all the sweets. You know, I love the taste of it, but I just, uh, it's just not good. Yeah, so here you have a couple of the better camera shots. Yeah, and this is the Canon service center, so if you have a problem with your Canon, you can come here. <laughs> Not today! Haircut and massage, nice combination. Okay. Yeah, so as you can see, there is plenty of uh, camera shops here. I just wanted to uh, to show you guys around. But as you can see as well, there's not too many people inside. I mean, if you come to MBK on a normal business day, in a normal time, you'll notice that it's completely packed with people here. So this is a very special furniture shop, huh? Amazing all these designs. Soundproof Bros, so I think this might be a good location to look for a mic. But this is the shop that I uh, I was coming for. See, there's a lot of professional microphones here. So, Saudi Pop. Here I bought one of my gimbals as well. <laughs> so I'm looking for a microphone, like an external microphone. But do you have one with Bluetooth? Because I want to put it here and then film. Microphone wireless. Yes. Okay, I'm going to do my business and then I will get back to you. So I just finished at the, the shop and he gave me some interesting information so 
now I have more an idea what I'm looking for, what I should be looking for. So I will be heading to Fortune Town after this. But I am still an MBK, so let me give you a bit more information how the situation is at MBK at the moment. Wow. So this is where normally you have all the souvenir shops. And it seems that it's completely cleared out. And I think they are doing some renovations here. Yeah, so this is uh, one of the things that happens during COVID. One level up. Yeah, last time that I was here, all the little shops were still open. And I used to come here for buying clothing sometimes, you know. So this is the restaurant level and the cinema. Yeah, what you see a lot is that mostly the big brands, they can stay open. But the little shops, of course, uh, it's a little bit more complicated. So here you have the SF Cinema. Yeah, you can see where the where the restaurants closed. They are putting something special is coming. Yeah, it's a it's a big difference if you have the shopping malls from Central, for example, because that's all run by one organization, and there you don't see a big difference of uh, restaurants that are closing, but. Here is a little bit different. Okay, so let's go down. Yeah, basically all the small shops have cleared out.
yeah i think this is uh yeah this is probably a very 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 clear signal of what's going on here it's just a regular day it's monday but uh, it's not on a crazy hour or something and it's actually january so that's high season yeah one month ago it was uh, different but it seems the maybe the second lockdown now has changed a lot again Unfortunately, I'm not interested in watches. several small shops that uh, close down and yeah the big ones like this AIIC you know they are still open Okay, so I am going to finish my update about the MBK center here. I hope you found it informative. If you did, feel free to subscribe, press the like button. I see you guys in my next uh, video.